In the winter, we talk about several types of precipitation. There's snow, but then there's also sleet and freezing rain. But here's the key. They actually start off as snow as well, and it all happens up there. See, it all starts as snow up here at the top, but the atmosphere has layers. So as our snowflake starts to fall, it could go into an area of warmer temperatures, slightly above freezing. So our snowflake starts to melt from the outside in. You now have a water drop that has a little bit of an ice core in the center, but then it exits our warm area and goes back into the cold. That means our water starts to freeze again, but it doesn't reform a snowflake. It just freezes like it is. A solid raindrop, if you will, comes all the way down to the ground and can bounce. We call that sleet. Freezing rain works a little bit differently. It does begin as a snowflake and it starts to fall through the atmosphere. However, it enters a warm area that is much deeper, so that snowflake melts all the way down. It's now just a regular old raindrop and it continues all the way down to the surface of the ground. But here at the surface, it's actually below freezing still. So that liquid water hits the ground and freezes right on contact. It turns out that freezing rain is one of the most dangerous types of precipitation, but no winter precip is fun, so be careful out there.